Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I want to go through this little 1509 minimum difference between the largest and smallest value in three modes. So, uh, let's take a look at this example in here 5324. So, we can um, move this number from 4 to 2, and this number from 3 to 2, this number to from 5 to 2. If we do that, and then we will get this. So the minimum difference. So the minimum number is two, also the maximum number is also two. So the difference between the two is zero. And for this example over here, uh, we are moving, we are moving this number, this number, and also this number, we can move this, all these three numbers become one. So the maximum, uh, sorry, the difference between the maximum and minimum is one minus zero, in this case, one. So that's the minimum difference because it's looks and minimum difference. And for this example and this example, uh, you can do it yourself. And I have an example here, I think it's good with this tracing of my algorithm. So let's say we got one this number and uh one zero seven six etc. And the first work we can do we can sort it. We can sort it and it becomes um zero one three five six seven nine twelve and fourteen. And then what we can do is we, we can move them. Uh, for example, we can move the first, uh, the minimum three numbers becomes the maximum number. So basically we are changing the, this number become 14, 14 and 14. So in this case, the maximum, sorry, the difference between the maximum and minimum will be 14 minus five. And in this example here, we can do, um, change the largest three numbers becomes the smallest number. So basically we are replacing 14, 12, and nine with zero, zero, and zero. So in this case, uh, the difference between the maximum and the minimum is seven. And in this case, we are replacing the first, uh, the smallest two numbers by the second largest, and also replacing the largest number by the second largest number. So basically, uh, we replace 14 by 12, we place a 0 and 1 by 12 as well. In this case, we, uh, the, we have the difference between the largest and smallest would be 12 minus 9. So you kind of see the patterns in here. I'm just, um, for the rest, I'm just, uh, shifting the window, uh, changing the numbers between the largest and smallest. Uh, I will walk through one more, but you kind of get a chance of it. Uh, for example, with this guy over here, we are uh, replace. So this is the second smallest number. So we replace the smallest number by the second smallest number. Also, we are replacing the largest number, also the second largest number by the second smallest number. So in this case, the difference between the largest and smallest will be my nine minus three. And uh, so there aren't many of these combinations, and we can just uh, put them all out. Uh, so first we have an edge case where if the, the length of the array is less than or equal to four, and uh, the minimum difference will be zero because, you know, let's say uh, if we have a, uh, if we have a, uh, a, a, a list that looks like this, one, two, three, and four. And what we can do is just replace everything as the same number. So we can replace it the three by four and replace the two by four, replace the one by four. So the, the minimum difference will be zero in this case. So this is the corner case that we can take it off. And secondly, we have to sort it. And this takes the time of a big O N of N, big O N times log N, sorry. And then, uh, we just doing what we just went to. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, there's some, uh, repeated numbers. There's this one and this one. Probably I don't need this one anymore. 
and I'm just going to be pinning the first one. And we can also write a for loop to do that for us. As you can see, uh, the patterns that we're looking at is um, the difference between these two index is four, right? So three minus negative one is four, zero minus negative four is four, and two minus negative two is four, one minus negative three is four. So we can write a simple for loop uh, to do that for us, but I'm just too lazy because there are only four cases. Um, yeah, after sorting, you can see um, this is the smallest number, and this is the the fourth largest number, and etc. So this will be uh, the second smallest number, and this will be the third uh, largest number. So it's, we pick a significant difference. So let's submit the code and it works. Submit all the test cases and it works. It looks pretty efficient, faster than 90% of the uh, submission. And so we talked a little bit about the time complexity, which mostly comes from this guy over here, the sorting. And for space complexity, uh, we are doing anything, everything in place, right? Uh, we only need this uh, mean diff function to keep track of all the in intermediate steps. Um, so yeah, so we speak over one. This is my solution to this problem. And uh, this problem was asked by um, Google. Yeah, Google loves this question. Uh, this is my solution to this problem. I hope you like it. If you do, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.